My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a really rare find right here. This is a 49,000 original mile survivor. This is a dream boat. It is such a nice, clean, original survivor. Can't wait to tell you all about it. It's a 64 Buick Electra deuce and a quarter. And if you care to go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study over hundred pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars all for sale visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a sweet cruise in this 64 Buick Electra. And I, I say that that way because this thing is a dream boat. It's just smooth. Smooth is the word. It just glides down the road, steers so easy. You can close the door with one finger. Actually, I don't even think you need to use a finger. You just let go and it closes, click shut. So good survivor cars. It's not a new car, so it's gonna have a few flaws that I'll tell you about, but there's qualities in a survivor car that you just can't duplicate in a restored car. So this is a pretty special find. Like underneath the car, if you look at our pictures, uh, if you know what you're looking at, you'll be very impressed. It's not glossy, it's not painted, uh, it's original, but if you really look at the floors and the metal, it's as good as they get. The floors are smooth enough to wipe with a rag. Every seam, every pinch weld is crisp and clean from the factory, not aftermarket welds. The inner rockers, the inner quarters, the little drain plugs where they fill up with crud and they rust out spotless metal, never been rotten, never been rusted, never been patched. You'll see the surface haze of rust that comes off with a scuff pad, but it is bone dry in my opinion. We purposely left it original. I didn't want to go under there and start spray painting over something that survived this many years. I didn't want to make it look like we we're hiding anything. So anyway, the metal underneath this car, solid as a rock, zero rot. Bottom of the motors, clean original. It's the first year for the Super Turbine Turbo 400 automatic. They were two-speed automatics. This year is the three-speed. Um, it's got the big Buick thinned aluminum drum brakes in front. The brakes have been gone through and, and uh, adjusted, new brake hoses. In back, it has a new tailpipe and muffler. In back, it has the original spiral shocks that are still on the car. The body, A++. This body is absolutely pristine in my opinion. I have not seen any damage, any signs of rust. It's absolutely straight. Every gap is precise. Everything is spot on. Every piece of trim fits beautifully. It's all square and flush. Uh, there's some touch up right here, brush touch up. So like I said, it's not a new car. There will be some flaws, but I'd rather have metal that fits this nice. The chrome back here is beautiful. The trim, this panel actually is mint. The chrome has a little patina now that I'm up looking at it. Uh, the emblems, all these moldings are just mint. And again, I'm not using the word perfect, but straight, shiny, has a fuel door trim. This is really shiny and straight. There are a number of touch brush touch-ups from NYX. Got the tri-bar Buick shield on the mirror, not pitted. This chrome vent uh, frame is not pitted. This up here is just barely worn. Normally, tops rub and this gets worn down. This is shiny and straight. This is the original windshield and it's crystal clear. Those are all indicators of a low mile car. Uh, it's got the four ports. This is Buick's top of the line. Uh, it still has the original T3 headlights with the triangles in the middle. All this chrome is just beautiful up here. It's got the original antenna. These hubcaps are specific to the Buick Electra and they're in excellent shape. The center caps are mint. And these are new Coker uh, white wall tires that are on there, radial tires. Metal door edge guards are not beat up. 
mean, yeah, there's a little dimple here or there. Door handle's nice. Watch this. Like I said, one finger, and you just let go, and it clicks shut. So the body's mint. Now, inside the trunk, rock solid, but it does need a new trunk liner. It's the original. It's just kind of disintegrating and falling apart. But this trunk would be beautiful. The new liner has got the complete jack and spare assembly. The original paint under the trunk lid's real nice. The rubber's real nice and soft. The black convertible top's in really nice shape. I think it's the original top. It has just enough patina. It's not ripped or torn. The rear plastic window is a little bit yellowed, discolored. I think it's the original top. It's power that works. I was told the pump was replaced not that long ago. The interior, very rare. Bucket seats with a console. I don't know where you'd find me a console. It has a super cool design and shape to it. I've never even seen one before. It's in excellent condition. Bucket seats are rare. Most of them were bench. This is a leather interior. The inserts on the seats are leather. They're still soft. Normally by now they're hard as a rock, but most of the time they're replaced by vinyl, or you'll see hard as a rock leather in back and vinyl in front. This is leather front and back, and it's soft. It has the crinkles in it like a good leather jacket, but it's not ripped or torn. The seats are nice and firm. It's got power windows, power seat. Uh, it's got the original Buick floor mats. It has the speed minder. You set the dial at a certain speed, it starts buzzing. The dash area is mint. The trim, the radio, the knobs, the lenses, the steering wheel itself, mint condition. The interior lights work. The door jams are original. The rubber is soft. I'm waiting to come around, I'll open up the hood. Now under the hood is the 401 nail head motor. That's 325 horsepower. Now on the air cleaner, it says Wildcat 445. It's called the Wildcat motor and the 445 is the torque, not the horsepower or the size. It's the torque that the motor puts out. And this thing just runs like a mouse in slippers. It's just smooth and quiet. And I'll start it up in just a second. Same thing under here. We decided not to touch it. It's original. So some of you might think, oh, that's not pretty. And this hood is heavy. <laughs> but this is original condition. There's people that'll flip for an original car like this. We did not spray paint it or do anything to it. This motor has recently been tuned up. You can see new plug wires, plugs. It also had a compression test. I have a picture of the compression reader meter on every cylinder. It's 150 pounds almost exactly on every cylinder that's in here. It's got power steering, power brakes, has the glass washer fluid bottle. Uh, we did put a new battery in the car. So why don't I start it up? Also has the original owner's manual and the protecto plate. I think the plate's in this one. That's the original dealership and the original buyer of the car. Uh, it is a numbers matching car. The numbers and codes are on here. I think this color is called Sunburst Yellow. Okay, let's start it up. I drove this car again. It's just the steering smooth, the ride is smooth. Once it warms up and clears out a little bit, it's just nice as can be. This top boot, you can see, I don't have it snapped all the way. I think it will if someone folds the top a little, a little better. This needs to clear out a little bit. Yeah, it's getting a whole lot better already. 
car is mostly original paint. I was told they painted the uh, fenders and hoods. So the front's been repainted. The rest is supposed to be original. There you have it. Beautiful car. Rare car. 225. They call it a deuce and a quarter. Bucket seats are cool as can be. Visit volocars.com. An opportunity like this to get a survivor convertible uh, is, doesn't come along too often. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific questions or concerns, feel free to ask them. They'll also help with the financing, delivery, paperwork. They'll make it real easy for you. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next video posted. Thanks for watching.